The last example of this chapter, example four, is the flow net around a returning wall. And the length of the returning wall is 50 meters. So L is 50 meters. And you know the hydraulic conductivity and you're asked to determine the total seepage quantity, capital Q here. Okay, uh, so in this example, the higher water table is actually on the right hand side of the structure. So this is your upstream water table. So this is upstream. And water is going to flow from a uh, high head or high energy to low head or low energy. So water flows from right to left around this returning wall. For this given flow net, you can first determine the number of flow channels, we call NF, and we have one, two, and three. We know the NF uh, number of flow channels is three. And then ND, the number of potential drop from upstream to downstream, so we can count. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So again, each time water passes a equal potential line, so this is equal potential line. This is equal potential line, there's one uh, potential drop. So ND in total is 10. And then the head loss total head loss from upstream to downstream is simply the difference between upstream and downstream water table. So H is five meters for this example. Okay. And then to calculate the seepage quantity, capital Q, first we need to determine small Q. That's the seepage quantity per unit length of your structure. So small Q using the equation we just uh, derived previously, k times h over nd times nf. And if you plug in numbers, so this is 1.5 times 10 to negative 3, that's centimeter per second. Again, I'm going to convert this to meter per second. So this is cm to m, centimeter to meter conversion, times h which is 5 over nd 10 times 3 nf so that gives us 2.25 times 10 to negative 5 meter cube per second per meter and then the capital q that's the total seepage quantity for 50 meter of returning wall is q times l and L is 50, and uh, if you plug in numbers, 2.25, 10 to negative 5 times 50, and then convert this to meter cube per day, so times 24 hours times 3,600 seconds per hour, and that's 97.2 meter cube per day.